even death. She refuses our gracious request and gives us a condition to his return. The condition? This troublemaker? To me? If I allow the scriptures to be distributed, then he will return. It is clear, Your Majesty, that you either uh, submit to Tyndale and print his uh, scriptures, or, as he threatens, he will continue to cause havoc among the people through his writings. He threatens the church, and now he, it seems he dares to threaten you. My lord, I don't think he that dares he... dares to threaten me? Your Majesty, I, I don't... A threat indeed. I want him found and arrested. Anyone, anyone in possession of his writings will be hanged or burned. Without exception. As persecution mounted in England, William continued to write, encouraging sincere Christians to stand firm for their faith. Do not fear men that threaten you, but trust God who is able to make good on his promise. Your cause is the gospel, a light that must be fed with the blood of our testimony, so that the light of the gospel will not go out. I will not have these writings stir up confusion and discontent among the people. The man must be stopped. You will not return to this place until you have found and apprehended this open wound, William Tyndale. Your grace. The Points family has been kind enough to support me as I translate. They are truly a godsend, and I have no doubt they will welcome you to supper. William! Just in time for supper. And a good one, I might add. And I do hope you don't mind, but I've brought along a new friend. William, you must be careful. Not to worry. He's an honest gentleman. Thomas Points, Henry Phillips. It is truly... A pleasure. And so you see, Henry, just as the Apostle Paul clearly expressed himself to the early church in the language of his day, so we must have the scriptures in the common language today. Else how can the followers heed the leader? I have learned much from you, William. And I from you. Ah, would that be true? In any case, it is time I repay you, however humbly. Come. Join me for a meal and let us talk more. Ah, uh, two things I can never decline. Wonderful. <laughs> After you. And further, I might add that Peter said, as newly born babes desire the milk of the word, the holy scriptures for babes, for the unlearned, the... William Tyndale. What? Run, Henry! <laughs> Quickly, Henry, this way! William! Which way? Which? William! 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 William Tyndale, you are under arrest. Oh, I shall have to have that meal all by myself. What? Henry? Farewell, William. It's been, shall we say, captivating. <laughs> William Tyndale, you are under arrest. I am commanded to take you henceforth from this place to Vilvord Castle. You stand accused of heresy, teaching what is against Mother Church. I have neither written nor taught anything contrary to the Holy Scriptures. You break the laws of our church. Only when the church breaks the laws of God. So, you set yourself above the authority of the church. By God's grace, I am a servant of the church, in so much as the church serves God. By your interpretation. By plain understanding of the holy scriptures. Your writings are smuggled into the hands of the common people. The Holy Word of God in common language. If the people seek the scriptures, it is only because their soul is hungry. Recant! Confess your fault! 
renounce your writings. Perhaps you shall be spared. I cannot but do as my conscience dictates. Admit your guilt! I cannot but do as my conscience dictates. Then you shall burn! Then I shall burn! Tyndale, you are charged with heresy in that you have translated and distributed the Holy Scriptures in the English language, which is in direct violation of both state and church. You have denied the authority of the one true church and are sentenced to be executed by burning. May God have mercy on your soul. Lord, feed your sheep. Lord, open the King of England's eyes. Open the King of England's eyes! William's death seemed like a terrible defeat, but within two years, his dying prayer was wonderfully answered. King Henry ordered that every church in England make a copy of the English Bible available for public reading. Every church, Father. Every church. So you see, you and I can read God's word now because of the sacrifice that William and others made for us. Others like... Grandfather. <sighs> yes, Grandfather and other brave people like them who loved God's Word. Grandfather taught me, everyone who hears God's words and puts them into practice is like a... Wise man who built his house on the rock. <laughs> yes. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not <laughs> fall, because it had its foundation at the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down... The if God spare my life, I will cause a ploughboy to know more scripture than the average...